know that some are sick, and we do know that others are traveling. We do pray that you would uh, be with them. Father, we pray that uh, you would help those, Lord, that are, that are sick and can't be here. We know that their desire is to be here. We do pray that you would get them well. Father, we pray that you would bless this service. It's a blessing to be here today. It's a blessing to have Brother Bill and his family. Pray that you would do a great, uh, have, allow us to have a great service. Padre, te pedimos, Señor, por este servicio. Pedimos que lo bendiga, Señor, de gran bendición. Padre, poder reunirnos y poder pasar este tiempo, Señor, aquí. Pedimos por esos que están enfermos, Padre, que desean estar y no pueden. Restaura su salud. Pedimos, Padre, también por esos que están viajando y que no pueden estar con nosotros. Pedimos, Señor, que estés con ellos. Te damos gracias, Padre, por las bendiciones que nos has dado. Bendice este servicio en Cristo Jesús. In Jesus' name, amen. A couple more announcements. Do remember that we have the spring uh, concert. So the 19th, it's a rehearsal at 6. So young people, rehearsal at 6 for the spring concert. And the spring concert is on the 20th, the Saturday at 3 o'clock. So come ready for that. Hermanos, tenemos el concierto de primavera a las 3 de la tarde, el día 20. Y el ensayo, jóvenes, es a las 6. Por favor, recuerden eso. El día 19, vamos a salir a los parques, hermanos, para las personas que no están involucrados en otra actividad. Pueden venir a acompañarnos para eso. Do remember that we do have a park outreach that day as well. So if you're not in one of the other activities, uh, come out with me and we're going to be going into some of our public parks and just share the good news of Jesus. Hermanas, la conferencia de damas es ese día también, pero todo continúa igual del 19 al 20 en Zaguarita. Para más información, hable con mi esposa, pero es el 19 y el 20 y el banquete de madre e hijas es el día 11. Prepárese para comprar sus boletos para ese evento. And then May 11th, Mother Daughter Banquet. On May 11th, uh, please uh, get your tickets. They'll be starting to sell those this Sunday. So Mother Daughter Banquet on the 11th at 11 a.m. Well, let's stand. We'll have our second song uh, for today. And then after that song, Brother Bill, you'll come up and we'll start from there. Amen. Jesus loves even me. We'll sing the first and last. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Cosola santa palabra ali. Cosos preciosas abuela de de. Todo que gran rendedor, it is los niños y el tierno pastor. Por agria, niño cantará. A rendedor, tierno pastor, que en el cabrón me murió. Si, si, por mí murió. Oh, if there's only one song I can sing when in his beauty I see the great king. This shall my song in eternity be. Oh, what a wonder that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Si hoy no hay gunta que como lo sé, busca al Jesús pecador le diré. Por su palabra que tienes aquí, aprendí el siento que tu ama a ti. Con alegría yo cantaré, 
Thank you. Please be seated. Amen. Uh, how many sentences should I go? One at a time, and I'll keep up with you. Okay, all right. <laughs> I have faith in you. Good. Tengo fe en él. Bien. Good evening to Buenas each tardes. and every one of you. It is a joy to be here at Sunrise Baptist Church. A cada uno de ustedes es de bendición estar aquí en la Iglesia Bautista Sunrise. Thank you, Pastor Perez, for the opportunity. And I want to say this. I was a pastor 15 years, and I know it is impossible to schedule every missionary that calls your church. <laughs> Fui pastor por 15 años. Le doy gracias al Pastor Eliazar. Y sé que es imposible tener a cada misionero que habla a su iglesia. And for that reason, I just want to say thank you, Pastor, for the opportunity, and thank you for entrusting me with your pulpit. Amen. Y por eso quiero decir gracias al Pastor por permitirme estar aquí y por confiarme el púlpito. Also, I want to say thank you for your warm welcome and making us feel right at home. Uh, we appreciate that so very, very much. Gracias por su hospitalidad y la bienvenida que nos dieron, nos hicieron sentir en casa. I want to thank Brother Bernie for his help with all of the technical aspects of our presentation. Gracias al Pastor Bernie por todos los aspectos de la tecnología de mi presentación. I was not a technical pastor and I'm not a technical missionary. <laughs> no fue un pastor que sabe mucho de los, de los técnicos y tampoco soy un misionero de esa manera. We're going to hope and pray that this works. If it doesn't work, I was a children's pastor for six years and I am prepared to present my ministry through a, a riveting puppet show. Hey, let's do that. Take it. Hermano, si no funciona ya, fui pastor de niños por muchos años y puedo sacar muñecos para presentar mi presentación. We'll get right to this. First of all, I want to introduce my wife, Amy, right over here. And one of our five boys, Cooper, is with us. Quiero introducir a mi esposa, Amy, y uno de mis cinco hijos, en su nombre es Cooper. The picture that you're about to see next on the uh, PowerPoint is a very old picture. Este es una, es una foto muy vieja. <laughs> Our oldest son and his wife have given us our very first grandchild, and so we're excited about that. Tuvimos nuestro primer nieto hace poco tiempo. I have five boys and no hair. Cinco varones y no tengo pelo. Mostly it's because of Cooper. La mayoría de parte es por Cooper. Amy is from Ohio. I'm from New Hampshire, and we met at Pensacola Christian College. Amy is Ohio. Yo soy, uh, Amy is the, uh, from where? Is Ohio. Amy from? Ohio. Amy is Ohio. Yo soy de, where are you from, brother? Uh, New Hampshire. De New Nueva, Hampshire. De, de New Hampshire. Y nos conocimos en Pensacola. Uh, after we graduated, we were married and then worked for the college for a couple years. Después de que nos casamos, uh, trabajamos por el colegio ahí en Pensacola por dos años. After doing that, the Lord called us to my wife's home church in Ohio, where I was a children's pastor for six years. Some would say the childish pastor. <laughs> Después de eso, fui a pastorear a los niños en la iglesia donde salió mi esposa y estuve ahí por seis años. And then after doing that, the Lord brought us to our, our very first and only pastor at the Mount Vernon Baptist Temple in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Y después de ahí fuimos a esta iglesia donde fui, fue nuestro primer y único pastorado, Mount Vernon Baptist Temple. I had the joy and privilege of being the pastor there for 15 years. Tuve el privilegio de ser el pastor ahí por 15 años. One of the most difficult things that I have ever had to do in ministry was resign from Mount Vernon Baptist. Una de las cosas más difíciles que tuve que hacer en el ministerio es uh, dejar mi posición allí. The main reason for that is we absolutely just love, love, love our church family. Y fue muy difícil porque amamos a nuestra familia allí en esa iglesia. For 15 years, I had the joy and privilege of watching my church family love on my family. Por 15 años tuve el privilegio de mirar a mi familia de la iglesia amar a mi familia. To be honest, I don't know if my church family really cared for me that much, but they sure love my family. Yo no sé si mi iglesia me quería tanto a mí, pero oh, como querían a mi familia. And so it was very difficult to resign, but it was what God had for us, and God made it abundantly clear that that's what he wanted to do. Fue muy difícil dejar la posición, pero Dios lo había hecho tan claro que es lo que teníamos que hacer. He did so through a missions trip. Lo hizo por medio de un viaje de misiones. I had the privilege of going on a missions trip, and one missions trip turned into six missions trips. 
Tuve el privilegio de ir a un viaje de misiones y uno se convirtió en seis. Four of those missions trips were with the ministry we now serve with called Worldview Ministries. Cuatro de esos viajes fue con el ministerio con el cual hoy servimos, Worldview Ministries. Worldview Ministries is an independent Baptist scripture translation ministry. Entonces, Worldview es, una, es un ministerio independiente bautista que hace traducción de la Biblia. When I was on these missions trips with Worldview Ministries, I was made aware of a statistic that has changed our life. Eh, al ir a estos viajes misioneros, miré una estadística eh, que cambió mi vida. And that statistic is this, that more than half of the languages of the world do not have a Bible. Y eso es lo que es la estadística, que más de la mitad de los lenguajes del mundo no tienen una Biblia. This next slide shows us that there are right around 7,000 languages in the world today. Hay aproximadas 7,000 lenguajes en el mundo hoy en día. And of the 7,000 languages in the world today, almost 4,000 of them do not have even One verse of scripture y in their language. Cuatro mil de esos lenguajes no tienen ni un solo versículo en su lenguaje. That statistic broke my heart. Eso quebrantó mi corazón. In our day of technology, we can we can press a button and send an email to the other side of the world in seconds. En nuestra tecnología podemos apuchar un botón y mandar un correo electrónico al otro lado del mundo en segundos. And yet, almost 4,000 people groups in the world are still waiting for a verse of scripture. Y todavía casi 4,000 personas de este mundo en su lenguaje no tienen ni un solo versículo. Let's pretend that in our country we have no Bible. Uh, pensemos que nuestra, y en nuestra lenguaje no tenemos Biblia. And a missionary from another country comes and knocks on your door. Y un misionero de otra país viene y toca su puerta. Shows you their Bible. Le enseña su Biblia. You can't read their Bible. You don't know their language. They're speaking to you through an interpreter. E usted no puede leer su Biblia. No conoce ese lenguaje. Están hablando con usted por medio de un intérprete. And for the first time, they share with you the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Y por primera vez le enseñan las buenas nuevas de Jesucristo. Think about this. You have a couple options at that moment. Tiene dos opciones en ese momento. You can believe everything that missionary says is true, and praise the Lord, that does happen all over the world. Eh, puede creer que lo que ese misionero está diciendo es verdad, y gloria a Dios, eso pasa a través del mundo. But your second option would be to do what? Su, su segunda opción sería de hacer qué? Learn their language so that you could verify for yourself what they're saying, that it is true. Aprender el lenguaje de ellos para que usted verifique por su propia cuenta si lo que están diciendo es verdad. Church family tonight, that would be very difficult for me. Le voy a decir a uh, iglesia que sería un hueso muy difícil para mí. I don't do well learning languages. No hago muy bien aprendiendo lenguajes. I'm still learning English. <laughs> Todavía estoy aprendiendo inglés. Um, If someone came to me and said, in order for you to understand what God says to you, you have to learn the Romanian language. There's a Bible verse right there in the, the, the Romanian language. Tienes que aprender el lenguaje de Romania, si me dijeran eso. Hopefully. Next slide. Some of you want to see that puppet show, don't you? Yes. <laughs> No. There's a Bible verse in the Romanian language. Es un versículo bíblico en el lenguaje romania. Or how about the language of Thailand? O el lenguaje de Tailandia. That looks a little bit like my handwriting. <laughs> Eso se ve un poco como la manera que él escribe. <laughs> or, or how about the number one language in the world today, Mandarin Chinese? Uh, el, ch el chino, el, el lenguaje prominente del mundo hoy en día. Same Bible verse. Es el mismo versículo bíblico. But when we see that same Bible verse in what is called our heart language, pero cuando miramos eso en el, en el lenguaje que nosotros it conocemos, means a lot, it means a lot more to us. ahora significa algo para nosotros. And the point is this, el punto es este. Almost 4,000 people groups in the world today cannot read John 3.16 in their heart language. Casi 4,000 personas no pueden leer Juan, uh, grupos de personas no pueden leer Juan 3.16 en su lenguaje nativo. As you're reading it right now in your heart language, if indeed English is your heart language, and I know for some that it is not. Como si usted lo pudiera leer en su lenguaje nativo, aunque sé que algunos de ustedes no es el inglés, su lenguaje original. And so that is why Worldview Ministry started. Worldview Ministry started to do two things. Por Train empezó, Bible translators so they can translate the scriptures for unreached people groups. Y por eso empezó Worldview Ministries para entrenar a traductores de Biblias para que la traduzcan en lenguajes de gente que no la tiene. 
God has blessed our ministry tremendously in the last 16 years. Dios ha bendecido grandemente nuestro ministerio en los últimos 16 años. We are blessed to have nine Bible translation projects in six different countries. Tenemos nueve proyectos de traducción de Biblia en varios diferentes países. What, what you're about to see right now is the American church planting missionary. Aquí a mirar ahorita en un poquito un uh, misionero americano plantando una iglesia. That heads up each one of our projects. Que encabeza cada uno de nuestros proyectos. As well as their translation teams. Y también su traducción del de equipo. We have been so excited to see God's people in the U.S. Ha sido de grande bendición para nosotros mirar la gente de los Estados Unidos. Respond so wonderfully to the great need of Bible translation. Responder tanto a la necesidad de la traducción de Biblias. We have seen churches sponsor one of our projects just as they would sponsor a monthly missionary. Miramos que iglesias uh, apoyan a uh, proyectos como hacen misioneros. We have seen churches sponsor a book of the New Testament for one of our projects. Unos uh, 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 dicen vamos a parar por la traducción de un libro del Nuevo Testamento. It is exciting to see God's people get excited about the propagation of the Word of God for unreached people groups. Es bendición mirar a la gente de Dios ponerse contenta acerca de traducción de la Biblia. Well, I have some wonderful news for you. Tengo buenas nuevas para ustedes. After 11 years, we've been able to give a people group in Africa their very first New Testament. Después de 11 años, pudimos darle a gente en África su primer Nuevo Testamento. This New Testament is for the Runyon Kore people of Uganda. Esta es para la gente Runyon Kore de Uganda. This New Testament took 11 years. Tomó 11 años para producirse. 200 man hours a week. 200 uh, horas uh, de estudio a la semana. It cost from start to finish around $250,000. De principio a fin costó aproximadamente $250,000. And it represents a people group of over 5 million people. Y es un grupo de personas que tiene más de 5 millones de personas. I had a wonderful opportunity Tuve una gran oportunidad to travel to Uganda with our Worldview team. De ir a Uganda con nuestro equipo de Worldview. We held a Bible dedication ceremony. Tuvimos una uh, una dedicación de la Biblia. And we officially handed this New Testament over to the Runyon Quarry people. Y les dimos este Nuevo Testamento en las manos de la de, de, de esa gente. It was one of the highlights of my life to be there. Fue una de las más grandes bendiciones de mi vida. And I have some wonderful news for you tonight. Y tengo buenas nuevas para ustedes también en esta noche. Through video, we're all going to take a quick trip to Uganda. Por video, vamos a tomar un, un, un viaje a Uganda. I hope you have your passports ready. Tienen sus pasaportes listos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to sit in, sit in on that Bible dedication ceremony together through video. Y vamos a mirar a esa ceremonia de, de, de esa presentación de la Biblia por video. I know it's going to be a blessing to you. Yo sé que va a ser de bendición a usted. Just a few things about what you're going to see on the video. Algunas cosas que van a mirar en el video. First of all, the dedication ceremony was very well attended. La dedicación fue muy bien atendida. I talked to three men that traveled 14 hours on a bus just because they didn't want to miss it. Hablé con tres varones que viajaron 13 horas con autobús para no perderlo. You're going to see some very colorful, vibrant outfits. Va a mirar a gente vestida muy con con ropa muy colorida. And we didn't know this pastor until after the fact. Y no sabíamos esto hasta después del hecho. But this was such a big day for the Runyon Quarry people that many of the ladies wore their wedding dress to the ceremony. Fue algo tan grande para este, este grupo de personas que muchas de las mujeres utilizaron su uh, ropa de novia uh, para esa ceremonia. And then when we handed out the Bibles, you hear singing. Y cuando les dimos la Biblia, va a escuchar los cantos. But no one is leading singing from the, from the pulpit. Pero nadie está dirigiendo del púlpito. And what, what had happened is when we handed out the Bibles. Y lo que pasó es cuando dimos las Biblias. They started waving their Bibles in the air and singing praises to the Lord. Empezaron a, 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 a cantar alabanzas al Señor. And then they concluded by reading together for the first time John 3:16. Y luego concluyeron leyendo juntos por primera vez en su lenguaje en la de la Biblia Juan 3:16. Again, it was one of the highlights of my life, and I know it will be a blessing to you as well. Una de las cosas más impactantes de mi vida y sé que será de bendición para usted. And we'll go ahead and show that video at this Amen. time. first time I held in my hand 
a copy of the Running Quarter New Testament, I was overwhelmed with emotion. The joy of being part of a translation for a people who need the Word of God so desperately. When we came, God was already working. God had put together something here that I couldn't have, I couldn't have written a beginning like, like we found. They were already concerned about having a Bible that was accurate. They were already working on translation work. To be able to bring them through the original language, the Greek, and give them the tools, kind of work with them through the process and develop this process really from the ground up. Uh, I didn't know we could do all that. You know, it was one of those things, I didn't come here knowing this is the way this is all gonna work, but God led us every step of the way. We wanted to have an accurate translation so that churches that are built are built on a sure foundation. One that won't move, one that won't be subject to time, but one that will clearly reflect the mind of God in today's generations. It is God's word. We don't want to change it. We don't want to dilute it. We don't want to uh, create our own. We strive to produce the most accurate translation possible a Bible they can trust, a Bible they can read and know this is the Word of God in our language. We spent many, many years on this work of translation. To, to me, it is worthy, more than worthy. Ugandan Christians, to see the joy on their faces, uh, to think of the power of God's written word in the um, hands of dedicated Ugandan Christians. We supported missionaries to Africa for years. We've heard stories. We've seen slides and videos. Uh, but to be here yourself touched my heart. There have been many, many books written by men, but only one book written by God. It's with such great joy, I present the completed Rani Korinu Tassi. want to review this precious Seeing the people today as they received a copy of God's Word, the spontaneous joy, the singing that originated from the congregation, not being led by someone on the platform and lifting their Bibles in the air and shouting praise to the Lord. I broke into tears. Um, I was just thinking about how blessed we are to have the scripture. You know, we just sometimes take it for granted and to see the joy on their face I think you have seen even on their faces how they are happy, how they are rejoicing in raising that Bible up. To finally have something that now we can say, here it is, here's, here's God's word, and we can give it to them in their language. It's a huge moment. The people we have given the Bible, the New Testament, it is going to be it is going to change their life. Today was a marvelous day, both in my life and my ministry, because you can now tell them from the pulpit and say, when you go home, read this, you know they have the Bible. When reading it in their language, God will be speaking to their hearts, God will, will be speaking to them. I think it will change many hearts. We want to see this happen over and over. 
there are over 3,700 language groups that still do not have one verse of scripture. And our burden is to provide the scripture in as many of those languages as possible. We thank the Lord for the churches who have partnered with us to get this far for the running Kori people. And we long to see this day repeated many times over. I trust that was a blessing to you. We never tire of seeing that video. Deseo que eso fue de bendición para ustedes. Nunca nos cansamos nosotros de mirar ese video. I also have some uh, wonderful news for you. In addition to this New Testament, we have another New Testament. También tengo buenas noticias para ustedes. Aparte de ese Nuevo Testamento, tenemos otro Nuevo Testamento. After eight years, we've been able to give a people group in Myanmar their first New Testament. Después de ocho años, podemos dar a la gente de Myanmar su Nuevo Testamento. And we say to God be the glory, great things he hath done. Decimos a Dios a la gloria, grandes cosas ha hecho. I said at the very beginning that Worldview Ministries is an independent Baptist scripture translation ministry. Dije que Worldview Ministries es un ministerio independiente bautista. And what we mean by that is that we translate from the Greek Textus Receptus. Lo que queremos ir con eso es que traducimos del Textus Receptus uh, de la original. And we translate from the Hebrew Masoretic. Y del Hebreo de las Escrituras uh, Masoretic. And we also translate with a word-for-word -word equivalency. Y también traducimos de palabra por palabra equivalente. We don't believe it's the translator's job to tell people what we think God meant. Eh, eh, nuestra uh, nuestra uh, firme convicción es que no queremos decir a la gente lo que creemos que Dios pensó decir. It is simply the translator's job to tell people what God said. Amen. Es nuestro trabajo decir lo que Dios dijo. Amen. Again, Pastor, thank you for the privilege of presenting our ministry here Amen. tonight. Gracias, Pastor, por el privilegio de presentar nuestro ministerio. And I sure appreciate those in the sound booth who helped with the PowerPoint. Y eso que están en el sonido por lo, por el, por lo que nos ayudaron en la presentación. I want to end our presentation by giving a short story. Quiero terminar nuestra presentación dando una historia corta. Right before we started deputation, I had breakfast with a pastor from Ohio. Poco antes de empezar deputación, tú desayuné con un pastor de Ohio. His daughter had just returned from a missions trip somewhere in South America. Su hija acababa de regresar de un viaje misionero en Sudamérica. When she got home, she told this story I'm about to share with you. Cuando llegó a la casa, compartió esta historia que voy a compartir con ustedes. When she was with her missions team, going from people group to people group. Cuando estaba en su equipo uh, de, uh, de misiones, yendo por gente por gente. A man in a particular tribe noticed that this young lady was carrying a book. Uh, un hombre de una tribu miró que esa muchacha estaba cargando con una Biblia, un libro. He went up to her and through an interpreter asked if the book was a Bible. Uh, por un intérprete le preguntó a esa muchacha que si su Biblia, eh, que si su libro era una Biblia. She said it is a Bible and then he said this. He said, do you know I have a Bible and would you like to see it? Y, y ella, eh, y él le dijo, ella le dijo, sí, y él dijo, yo también tengo una Biblia, ¿la quisieras ver? She said, I would love to see your Bible. Dijo, me encantaría ver tu Biblia. He went into his home and came out with a folded up piece of cloth in his hand. Uh, fue a su casa y regresó con un pedazo de trapo doblado. Like a handkerchief folded up. Como un pañuelo doblado. He slowly unfolded that piece of material. Y lo abrió. To reveal on the inside the ripped corner of one page of God's holy word. Para encontrar una esquina de una página rota de la palabra de Dios. He had a portion of scripture on one side and a portion of scripture on the other side. Tenía una porción de la escritura en un lado y otra porción de la escritura en el otro lado. But that was his Bible and church family was his most prized possession. Y esa era su Biblia y era, era algo que él tenía mucho valor para él. That young lady had the wonderful joy and privilege of giving him her Bible. Esa muchacha tuvo el privilegio y la bendición de darle a este varón su Biblia. And even though it was not in his language, he didn't care. Y aunque no estaba en su lenguaje, a él no le importaba. He held that Bible close to his heart. Tú puso esa Biblia junto a su corazón. 
tears streaming down his face. Con lágrimas corriendo de su rostro. But someone else had joy that day and it was that young lady that God used to give a Bible to someone that only had a portion of scripture. Pero alguien más tuvo gozo ese día, esa muchacha que Dios usó para dar esa Biblia a alguien que solamente tiene una porción de la escritura. And I share that story to communicate how we feel. Y digo esa historia para comunicar cómo nos sentimos nosotros. We have the privilege of being part of a ministry that is about getting a Bible to people that do not have one. Somos parte de un ministerio de dar la Biblia a gente que no tiene la Biblia. And we are overwhelmed with joy to have a part in such an eternal work. Y, y tenemos gozo sobreabundante de poder ser parte de este ministerio. I personally am not a Bible translator. Yo personalmente no soy un traductor de Biblia. At age 54, I do not have that training, that background, that education. A los 54, yo no tengo ese trasfondo, esa educación para poder hacerlo. I've been asked to come on staff as director of national training. Uh, yo estoy parte de un equipo nacional de entrenamiento nacional. Meaning that I have the privilege of going overseas. Yo tengo el privilegio de ir a otros países. And sitting down with national pastors who have been praying for a Bible in their language. Sentarme con pastores nacionales que han estado orando por una Biblia en su lenguaje. With the hope and prayer of having many, many, many more Bible translation projects. Uh, con el deseo de que se empiecen más a, a proyectos de traducción de Biblia. And again, we're very overwhelmed with joy to have a part. Y nos gozamos de poder tener parte de este ministerio. If you have any questions after the service, feel free to come by our table. We'd love to answer those questions to the best of our ability. Si tiene preguntas después del servicio allí en nuestra mesa, nos puede hacer las preguntas que desee. I'll ask you at this time to take your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11. Hebreos 11 en esta tarde, en esta noche. If you know anything about Hebrews 11, you know that it has been called the Great Hall of Faith. Si sabe algo de Hebreos 11, sabe que se ha llamado el capítulo de la fe. It is a great faith chapter. It is un gran capítulo de fe. We could preach for a year of Sundays from this text. Podemos predicar un año los domingos por este texto. In this chapter, we find the models of faith. En este capítulo tenemos los modelos de la fe. The magnitude of faith. La uh, magnificencia de la fe. The miracle of faith. El milagro de la fe. And many others. Y muchas otras. I want to just pull one of those facets of faith from this text. Quiero mirar uno de esos por uno de esos aspectos de la fe. And we want to look at the manifestation of faith. Y queremos mirar la manifestación de la fe. Notice with me Hebrews 11 and verse number 1. Hebreos 11 versículo 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Es pues la fe la certeza de lo que se espera, la convicción de lo que no se ve. According to this verse, the life of faith is a life of evidence. De acuerdo a este versículo, la, la fe es una fe de convicción. Faith is not empty, it has evidence. La fe no es vacía, sino que tiene uh, convicción, tiene evidencia. Faith is not shallow, it has substance. La fe no es vacía, tiene sustancia. And what we find in Hebrews chapter 11 is evidence and substance of faith. Y en capítulo 11 de Hebreos tenemos la evidencia y la sustancia de la fe. Let me begin with an invitation question. Quiero empezar con una pregunta de invitación. What challenging thing in your life does God want you to do? ¿Qué cosa que es un reto en su vida quiere Dios que usted haga? It's difficult for you to do and it would require a step of faith. Que es difícil para que usted haga y que va a requerir un paso de fe. Maybe it is to get involved with a certain ministry at Sunrise Baptist Church. Tal vez es involucrarse en un cierto ministerio aquí en la iglesia. Maybe it's to get baptized. Tal vez es el bautizarse. Maybe it's to give monetarily to a project of the church. Tal vez es dar dinero para un proyecto de la iglesia. Maybe it's to witness to someone. Tal vez es testificar a alguien. Maybe it's to witness to a difficult person. Tal vez testificar a alguien difícil. Maybe it's to forgive someone. El a lo mejor es perdonar a alguien. Again, what challenging thing does God want you to do? ¿Qué es un reto o algo difícil que Dios quiere que usted haga? It's difficult for you to do and it would require a step of 
faith. Será difícil para usted hacerlo y va a requerir un paso de fe. With that in mind, observe with me three evidences of faith from Hebrews chapter 11. Con eso en mente, mire tres evidencias de fe en Hebreos capítulo 11. Point number one. Primero. Sometimes faith is obeying God when it doesn't seem logical. Hay veces que la fe es obedecer a Dios cuando no es lógico. Now it's always logical to obey God, amen? Siempre es lógico el obedecer a Dios. But sometimes when God tells us to do something in our mind, it doesn't make sense. Pero hay veces cuando Dios nos pide que hagamos algo en nuestra mente, no nos, uh, no nos, no nos, uh, no, no cabe sin duda. Let's look at a Bible illustration in verse number 7. Mire el versículo 7. By faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet. Por la fe Noé cuando fue advertido por Dios acerca de cosas que aún no se veían. What is that talking about? ¿De qué está hablando eso? Let me illustrate. Déjele <laughs> ilustro. God said to Noah, build an ark. Dios le dijo a Noé, and construye Noah, un arca. And Noah could have said, what is an ark? Y no, Noé podía haber dicho, ¿qué es un arca? And we would say, an, an ark is something you need when there's a flood. <laughs> El arca no es algo que necesitas cuando hay un diluvio. And Noah would say, what's a flood? Y Noé hubiera dicho, ¿y qué es un diluvio? And we would say, Noah, a flood is something that happens when there's lots and lots and lots of rain. <laughs> un diluvio es algo que pasa cuando hay mucha y mucha mucha lluvia. And Noah would say, what is rain? <laughs> y Noé hubiera dicho, ¿y qué es lluvia? Do you get the picture? ¿Está entendiendo el retrato? Sometimes when God tells us to do something in our mind, it doesn't make sense. A veces cuando Dios nos pide que hagamos algo en nuestra mente no es lógico. But faith is saying, God, I see what you want me to do. Fe es decir, Señor, sé lo que me estás pidiendo que haga. And though I don't have it all figured out, I'm going to obey anyway. Y aunque no lo comprendo todo, lo voy a llevar a cabo de todas maneras. Church family, that's faith. La iglesia, eso es fe. Salvation is a great illustration of this truth. La salvación es una gran ilustración de esta verdad. If you ask the average person on the street how to go to heaven, si le preguntas a la persona común en la calle cómo vas al cielo, many will answer this way. Muchos van a contestar de esta manera. If my good outweighs my bad, I go to heaven. Si mi bueno es más que mi malo, entonces voy a ir al cielo. If my bad outweighs my good, I go to hell. Si mi malo es más que mi bueno, entonces voy al infierno. And on paper that makes sense, but it's not Bible. Y en el pa y en papel puede ser lógico, pero eso no es lo que la Biblia enseña. The Bible says, "For by grace are you saved through faith." Dice la Biblia que somos favor por gracia por medio de la fe. Not of ourselves. No de nosotros mismos. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Es el don de Dios, no por obras para que nadie se gloríe. So if you're here tonight and you're saved, then I pray and trust that you are. Si está aquí en esta noche es salvo y mi deseo y esperanza es que sí lo sea. You've taken the greatest step of faith that you'll ever take. Usted ha tomado el más grande paso de fa de fe que usted puede tomar. Even though to a good majority of the world it doesn't make sense. Aunque para mucha persona del mundo eso no es algo lógico. Here's another illustration. Otra ilustración. Bible giving. El dar, uh, el dar, lo que la Biblia dice. Pastor did not ask me to bring up this topic. El pastor topic. no me dijo que hablara de este, de, de esto. This is a personal testimony. Este es un testimonio personal. We'd rather build an ark than talk about giving, amen? Eh, eh, preferimos construir una arca que hablar de dar dinero. Do you remember when you were being discipled? Usted recuerda cuando lo estaban discipulando? And someone taught us about the biblical principle of giving to God first. Y alguien nos enseñó el principio bíblico de dar a Dios primero. And by the way, that is a biblical principle. Y para, y de hecho, ese sí es un principio bíblico. Whenever God gives to us, we are to give back to Him first. Cuando Dios nos da a nosotros, debemos de regresar a Él primero. But when we were being taught that, this is what we thought. Cuando se nos estaba enseñando eso, es esto, esto es lo que estábamos if pensando. The, if the very first check I write when I get paid is to God, si el primer cheque que yo uh, el recibo se lo toque dar a Dios, at the end of the month I won't have any money left over for this, that, or the other. Al fin del mes no me va a alcanzar para lo que yo necesito. 
And on paper, you'd be correct. Y en papel puede ser que eso sea lógico. But we've just thrown faith right out the window. Pero ya quitamos <laughs> fe del retrato. And I already know this about you all over the sanctuary tonight. Y yo sé acerca de ustedes que están aquí en este santuario. We could have testimony after testimony after testimony. Podemos tener testimonio tras testimonio. Of Christians that could stand and say, even though I didn't understand it at the time, when I obeyed God with my finances, God has blessed me ever since. De cristianos que dijeron, cuando yo honro al Señor con mis, prim, con los, con mis primicias, Él se encarga del resto. Aún cuando al tiempo que lo hicimos, no era algo lógico. Church family, that's faith. Iglesia, eso es fe. Sometimes faith is obeying God when it doesn't seem logical. Fe muchas veces es obedecer a Dios cuando no es lógico. Point number two. <laughs> Punto número dos. Sometimes faith is obeying God when it's not comfortable. Hay veces que la fe es obedecer a Dios cuando no es cómodo. Look with me, if you will, at verse number 17. Mira el versículo 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Por la fe, Abraham, cuando fue probado, ofreció a Isaac. Wow. Oh, qué impresionante. Can you imagine that? ¿Te puede imaginar eso? Abraham, take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. Abraham, lleva tu hijo, tu unigénito hijo a quien amas. And offer him as a burnt offering, offer him as a sacrifice. Y ofrécelo como un sacrificio. You talk about uncomfortable. Uh, habla acerca de no ser cómodo. Yes, because sometimes faith is obeying God even when it's not comfortable. Es que la fe es obedecer a Dios aun cuando no es cómodo. When I was a children's pastor, I heard this story. Cuando era un pastor de niños, escuché esta historia. A family had a house fire. Una familia tenía una fue un fuego en su casa. And everyone escaped to the front lawn except for the little boy. Y todos pudieron salir allí al frente de la yarda excepto el niño chiquito. He was about four or five years old. Cuatro o cinco años de edad. The family's on the front lawn and in the window above them stood the boy. Y entonces allí enfrente podían mirar al niño. The father went to the bottom of the window and he said, "Son, jump and I'll catch you." El niño estaba en la ventana y le dijo el papá de abajo, le dijo, "Brinca y yo te agarro los brazos." The little boy said, "Daddy, I can't jump because I can't see you. The smoke was so thick." Y había tanto humo que el niño le dijo, "Papá, no puedo brincar porque no te puedo ver." But the father said this. He said, "Son, you may not be able to see me, but I can see you. Jump and you'll be saved." Pero el padre le puede decir esto, tú tal vez no me puedes mirar, pero yo te puedo mirar a ti. Brinca y serás salvo. And that little boy trusting his father jumped and he was saved. Y ese niño pequeño confiando en su papá brincó y fue salvo. I give that illustration to illustrate this truth. Te digo, doy esa ilustración para decirte esta verdad. Sometimes our step of obedience. A veces que nuestro paso de obediencia feels like a big old leap in the dark. Parece que estás dando un brinco en lo oscuro. It's uncomfortable. Es, no es cómodo. Now I'm so thankful God doesn't require a leap in the dark because he gives us the light of his word. Amen. Dios no nos pide que brincamos en lo oscuro porque tenemos la luz de su Biblia. But sometimes obeying God is uncomfortable. Pero hay veces obedecer a Dios no es cómodo. And again, I already know this about you. Y yo ya sé eso acerca de ustedes. That you know this to be true already. Que ustedes ya saben esto ser verdad. Think back on your Christian life. Piense en su vida cristiana. Which is nothing more than your life of faith. Que ha sido su vida de fe. Think about all that God asked you to do that at the time was uncomfortable. Piense en todo lo que Dios le pidió que usted hiciera que al tiempo era incómodo. But years later now, no big deal. <laughs> Pero años después, ahora ya no es una grande cosa. Do you remember the first time the pastor said, who would like to stand and give a testimony tonight? Recuerda la primera vez que el pastor dijo, ¿Quién quisiera pararse y dar un testimonio en esta noche? And God told you to give a testimony and you were scared to death. Y Dios le dijo, da un testimonio y tenías mucho temor. And yet you mustered up enough courage and you stood and through a quivering voice, you gave testimony to God. Y, y, y en tu temor te paraste y dice testimonio de Dios. Because God told you to do it. Porque Dios te dirigió a que lo hicieras. That's faith. Eso es fe. 
Do you remember the first time you handed out a gospel tract? Recuerda la primera vez que entregó un tratado con el evangelio. Do you remember the first time you witnessed to a family member? La primera vez que testificó a un familiar. Do you remember the first time you wrote that tithe check? La primera vez que dio su diezmo. Maybe your hand was shaking as you wrote the check. Tal vez su mano estaba temblando al usted escribir el cheque. Do you remember the first time you taught Sunday school? La primera vez que enseñó a escuela dominical. Maybe there was just five little children in that class and it felt like 500 you were scared to death. El amor era nomás cinco niños parecían como 500 y tenía mucho miedo y temor. And yet you did it because God told you to do it. Y sin embargo usted lo hizo porque Dios le dijo que lo hiciera. That's faith. Eso es fe. That's faith. Eso es fe. Point number three tonight. Punto número tres en esta noche. Let's review first. I'm sorry. Vamos a mirar un poco un repaso. Sometimes faith is obeying God when it doesn't seem logical. La fe en veces es obedecer a Dios cuando no es lógico. Sometimes faith is obeying God when it's not comfortable. A veces que la fe es obedecer a Dios cuando no and, es cómodo. And sometimes number three, faith is obeying God when it's not desirable. Y hay veces que la fe es obedecer a Dios cuando no es deseable. You say, Brother Bill, give me an illustration of that from Hebrews 11. Dame una ilustración de eso de Hebreos 11. Every person in the great hall of faith is an illustration of this truth. Cada persona aquí en el capítulo de fe es una ilustración de esta verdad. How is that? ¿Cómo es eso? <laughs> Because everyone in this text has something that you and I have, and it's called a will. Porque cada una de las personas en ese texto tenían algo que yo y usted tenemos y es voluntad. And when God told these people to do something, they had a choice. Y cuando Dios les pidió que hicieran algo, they tuvieron could say, una opción. They could say yes or they could say no. Podían decir sí o no. They could humble their heart or they could harden their heart. Podían endurecer su corazón o humillar su corazón. They could soften their heart or stiffen their neck. Podían ellos dejar su corazón tierno o, uh, o, o duro. But mark it down and don't forget it. Pero márquelo y no se lo olvide. They would never be in the hall of faith if. Nunca estuvieran en el capítulo de la fe. Si, if, if they didn't learn to say, not my will, but thine be done. Si no hubieran aprendido a decir, no mi voluntad, pero tu voluntad sea hecha. And that is a decision that you and I have to make every moment of every day. Y esa es una decisión que yo y usted tenemos que hacer cada día. Sometimes faith is saying, God, I don't want to do this right now, but I love you and I know you want me to do it, and so I'm going to do it. A veces que decimos, Señor, no quiero hacer esto ahorita, pero sé que tú lo deseas y lo voy a hacer. And that's faith. Y eso es fe. And I'm so thankful that when we obey God, even when we don't want to, God changes our want to. Amen. Doy gracias a Dios cuando nosotros obedecemos a Dios y hacemos lo que nos pide, aunque nosotros no queremos. Él cambia nuestro deseo para después quererlo. I would like to end by giving our testimony tonight. Quisiera terminar al dar nuestro testimonio en esta noche. When God started to work in my life about being a missionary with Worldview, cuando Dios empezó a, empezó a trabajar en mi vida acerca de ser un misionero por Worldview. Sadly, I must confess to you, I did not want to do it. <laughs> Le voy a confesar que yo no lo quería hacer. You say, Brother Bill, why? ¿Por qué no, hermano Bill? <laughs> Because I'll give you three reasons. <laughs> Tres razones le voy a dar. It was not logical, comfortable, or desirable at the time. <laughs> Porque no era lógico, no era cómodo, y no era deseable ese tiempo. It was not logical to resign from a church that I think I could have retired from. No era lógico el resignar de una iglesia donde podía retirarme. It was not comfortable to say goodbye to a church family that we loved dearly. No era cómodo despedirme de una iglesia que amábamos mucho. We knew that if we resigned and went to serve with Worldview, sabíamos que si resignábamos en iglesia y íbamos con Worldview, that we would never be able to go back and pastor those wonderful people ever again. Que nunca íbamos a poder regresar y pastorear esa gente de nuevo. It was not comfortable financially. No era cómodo financialmente. At the time, I was 47. Al tiempo, yo tenía 47. A family of seven with our firstborn going off to Bible college. Familia de siete con nuestro primer hijo yendo al colegio bíblico. I remember looking at my last paycheck from the church. Mirando mi último pago de la iglesia. Thinking that there is no way 
that I'm going to be able to pay all of my bills. Pensando, no hay manera después de que me vaya a la iglesia, ¿cómo voy a pagar mis biles? We jumped into deputation for the first time in our lives at age 47. A la, a 47 años de edad, entramos a recaudar fondos en deputación. And I was scared to death. Y tenía miedo. It was not logical. No era lógico. It wasn't comfortable. No era cómodo. And for many, 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 many months, it was not desirable. Y por muchos meses no fue algo deseable. I would do something that we sometimes do, I argued with the Lord. A veces que hacía algo que hacemos nosotros también, argumentaba con el Señor. Knowing what he wanted me to do. Sabiendo lo que él quería que hiciera. I still argued. Todavía argumentaba con él. I said this to the Lord. Le dije esto al Señor. I said, Lord, I don't want to do this, but I'll pastor another church if that's what you want for me. Señor, no quiero hacer esto, pero pastorearé otra iglesia si eso es lo que quieres para mí. God said, that's not what I want for you. Y el Señor decía, no, eso no es lo que quiero para ti. I said this to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't want to, but I'll work in a Bible college if they'll have me. Le dije, Señor, yo no quiero ir, ir, ir de misionero, pero trabajo en un colegio bíblico si quieres. Actually, Amy and I filled out the entire application and all we had to do was move and God said, why are you doing this? Y si llenamos Jamie y yo toda la aplicación en un colegio bíblico y ya estábamos para movernos y Dios dijo, ¿por qué estás haciendo esto? I even said this and, and forgive me, I, I said this, Lord, I don't necessarily want to do this, but I'll be a church planning missionary. Y, y dije, Señor, uh, uh, para no irme de misionero, puedo ser un plantador de iglesias. Because then I could still be a pastor. Porque de esa manera tú ya pudieras ser un pastor. And God said that's not what I have for you. Y el Señor me dijo, eso no es lo que tengo para ti. And I remember the day that we took the step of faith, the step of obedience. Y recuerdo el día cuando tomamos el paso de fe, el paso de obediencia. I was sitting in my office. Estaba sentado en mi oficina. And I received an email. Y recibí un correo electrónico. From the Lord. No, I'm just Del kidding. Señor. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I received an email from a missionary we support. De un misionero que apoyamos recibí el correo electrónico. And they sent their prayer letter to our church office. Y mandan nuestra a uh, su carta de oración a nuestra iglesia. And, and at the very end of his prayer letter, he wrote something that I know was just for me. Y al final de su carta escribió algo que yo sé que era para mí. And that was from the Lord. Y eso sí era del Señor. He said this, if you are considering God's calling to foreign missions, do not fear. Y, y escribió eso, si estás considerando el llamado de Dios para ir al campo misiora, misionero foriano. We can boldly say with the Apostle Paul. Podemos decir junto con el Apóstol Pablo. Faithful is he that calleth you. Fiel es el que nos llama. Who will also do it. El que también lo hará. And I remember I started to cry. Y yo recuerdo empecé a llorar. I stood up from my desk. Me paré de mi mesa banco. And I said, God, I get the picture. Y dije, Señor, <laughs> agarro took, el retrato. And I took the step. We took the step of obedience. Y yo y mi esposa tomamos el paso de obediencia. A and here's the point. God has blessed every step of the way. Y este es el punto. Dios ha bendecido cada paso. Every bill has been paid. Cada bill ha sido pagado. Every need supplied. Cada necesidad se ha, L se ha llevado a cabo. Last year, God gave us 84 meetings. El año pasado, Dios nos dio 84 visitas en la iglesia. And we say to God be the glory, great things he hath done. Decimos a Dios sea la gloria, grandes cosas él ha hecho. But church family, he did those things when? Pero iglesia, ¿cuándo él hizo eso? When we took the step of obedience. Cuando nosotros tomamos el paso de obediencia. Sometimes faith is obeying God. A veces que la fe es obedecer a Dios. When it's not logical, Cuando comfortable, no es logical, or desirable. Cuando no es lógico, no es cómodo o no es deseable. Look at verse number 6 in closing. Mira el versículo 6 al terminar. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Pero sin fe es imposible agradar a Dios porque es necesario que el que se acerca a Dios crea que le hay y que es galardonador de los que le buscan. God receives the credit for the miracles. Amen. Dios recibe el crédito por los milagros. But he does the miracles when we take the step of obedience. Pero él hace los milagros cuando nosotros tomamos el paso de fe. Verse number six has meant so much to our family in this transition from pastor 
to missionary. El versículo 6 ha tenido tanto significado a nuestra familia al transicionar de pastor a misionero. Because verse number 6 has taught us this very important truth. Porque el versículo 6 nos ha dado esta gran verdad. That God can bless me better than I can bless myself. Dios me puede bendecir mayor de lo que yo me puedo bendecir a mí mismo. And God can bless you better than you can bless yourself. Dios le puede bendecir más usted de lo que usted puede bendecir usted mismo. But we must be found faithful. Pero tenemos que ser hallados fieles. We must be walking by faith and not by sight. Tenemos que estar caminando por fe y no por vista. God can bless us better than we can bless ourselves. Dios nos puede bendecir más de lo que nosotros nos podemos bendecir a nosotros mismos. Years ago, we were sitting at the kitchen table on a Saturday night. Hace años estábamos sentados en la mesa de la cocina un sábado por la noche. My wife Amy was sitting to my right. Mi esposa Amy a mi derecha. Our third son Chad was sitting to my left. Nuestro tercer hijo Chad a nuestra izquierda. He was just a little guy at the time, just really small. Un pequeñito a ese tiempo. I was talking to Amy about something. Estaba hablando con Amy acerca de algo. And Chad interrupted me. Y Chad me interrumpió. And he said, Daddy, may I have some potato chips? There was a bag of potato chips on the table. Me dijo, Papi, ¿puedo agarrar papitas? Había una bolsa de papitas en la mesa. And I said, yes, go ahead. Le dije, claro, adelante. And I didn't know this, but he didn't take any. Y, 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 y no me di cuenta, pero no agarró ninguna. So I'm talking to Amy. Estaba hablando con Amy. And he, inter he interrupts a second time. Y me interrumpió la segunda vez. And I said, what? Yes, son, what? Y le dije, ¿qué quieres, hijo? ¿Qué necesitas? And he said, Daddy, may I have some potato chips? <laughs> y me dijo, papi, ¿me puedes dar papitas? I said, yes, go ahead. Sí, claro, agárralas. I turned to Amy and I keep talking. A volteé a Amy con y continuó hablando. And Chad did not take one potato chip. Y Chad no agarró ninguna papita. So you know what happens. ¿Y sabe qué pasó? He interrupts a third time. Me interrumpió la tercera vez. Now if you're a father, you know this. We only have so much patience. Si es un padre, ya sabe, solamente tenemos tanta paciencia. That's how God made us. No, Así es como Dios nos hizo. I'm kidding. Estoy jugando, estoy jugando. And so he interrupts a third time. Me interrumpe la tercera vez. And I start having evil thoughts towards my son. Y empiezo a tener pensamientos malos contra mi hijo. I'm thinking I'm going to feed him a potato chip with a slingshot if he doesn't stop interrupting me. Si no me para de interrumpir, le voy a tirar una papita y se la voy a dar de comer con una resortera. And so I said, Chad, what? What do you want? And ¿Qué he said, quieres, Chad? Daddy, may I have some potato chips? Papi, me das papitas, me dijo. And I said, yes. Take dije, some potato sí, chips. Sí, agárralas. And this time I wasn't going to talk. I'm the talker in the family, by the way. Y yo soy el que hablo en mi familia. And I said, I'm not going to talk to Amy. I'm going to watch and see what he does. Y dije, no hablar con Amy. Voy a mirar a ver qué va a hacer mi hijo. And this is what he said to me. Y eso fue lo que me dijo. He said, no, daddy, no. Me dijo, no, papi, no. He said, you do it, daddy. Usted hágalo, papi. He said, your hand is bigger than my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Su mano, tu mano es, es más grande que la mía. And I remember thinking when he said that. Y recuerdo pensar cuando dijo eso. My father's hand. En la mano de mi padre celestial. Is bigger than my hand. Es más grande que mi mano. God can bless me a whole lot better than I can bless myself. Dios me puede bendecir mucho más a mí de lo que me puedo bendecir a mí mismo. Because God's hand is bigger than mine. Porque la mano de Dios es más grande que la mano mía. Church family, God can bless you better than you can bless yourself. Iglesia, Dios le puede bendecir más a usted de lo que usted se puede bendecir usted mismo. But we need to be found faithful. Pero tenemos que ser hallados fiel. I end where I started. Eh, termino donde empecé. What's the challenging thing in your life? Que lo difícil en su vida en esta noche. That God wants you to do. Que Dios quiere que usted haga. It's difficult for you to do. Es difícil para que usted lo haga. And it would require a step of faith. Y va a requerir un paso de fe. May God give us the humility and the courage to do what we know is right to do. Que Dios nos dé el valor y la humildad para hacer lo que sabemos que debemos hacer. For our good. Para nuestro bien. But more importantly for his glory. Pero más importante para su gloria. For that's why we exist. Pues esa es la razón por la cual existimos. May God help us. Que Dios nos ayude. Father, we love you and thank you for the privilege of studying your word. Padre, gracias por el tiempo y el privilegio de estudiar tu palabra. Thank you for these dear folks who have come out for this midweek service. Gracias por estos que han venido a este servicio de media semana. May we all be found faithful. Que seamos hallados fieles. It may not be logical. 
puede no ser, ser lógico. Comfortable or desirable. Tal vez no es cómodo ni deseable. But may we be found faithful. Pero que seamos hallados fiel. In Jesus' name. En Amen. Cristo Jesús. With your head bowed and your eyes closed. Let's spend a minute or two as we think about what was said through God's word tonight. Pausemos, hermanos, y meditemos en lo que el Señor ha comunicado en esta noche. ¿Qué es lo que el Señor desea que tú lleves a cabo? Estás luchando con ello. What does the Lord want you to do that you're struggling with tonight? If we want to see great things by God, it always requires faith, not logic, not comfort, and not liking it. But faith is always required. Si queremos mirar que Dios haga cosas grandes e increíbles, no todo es deseable, no todo es cómodo, y no todo es lógico. ¿Qué es lo que el Señor quiere que usted haga en esta noche? ¿Cómo le habló el Señor? Vamos a abrir el altar. Si usted desea pasar por un poco de tiempo antes de concluir, queremos dejar ese tiempo en esta noche. We're going to open the altar. If the Holy Spirit of God took His word and spoke to you, come on up. Spend a few minutes up here in the altar, and after that, we'll conclude our service. I do want to give you that opportunity tonight. If God is wanting to do something with you and through you, and you're struggling, tonight's the night to come forward. Our pianist is going to play through that song twice, and after that, we'll continue our service and finish in prayer. I'll be up here with my wife. If you would like to come up, please come on up at this time. El altar está abierto si desea pasar. Father, once again, we thank you for this service. We thank you for your word. And Lord, I pray that you would continue, Lord, to use your word to speak to us. Padre, gracias, Señor, por este servicio. Gracias por las bendiciones. Continúa utilizando tu palabra, Señor, para hablar con tu pueblo. En Cristo Jesús. Amen. Before we are dismissed, I do want to take the time to just uh, take any prayer requests that we can be praying for those uh, this week. Hermanos, antes de ser despedidos, hermanos, uh, solamente peticiones, por favor, hermanos, y rápido, para poder marcarlas. Le voy a pedir que estén orando por la familia Soto. El papá de nuestra hermana uh, pasó, uh, falleció, y entonces estén orando por el consuelo de la familia. Please be praying for the Soto family, for their comfort. And um, hermana Erika Soto's father passed away. So please be praying for comfort for the family. Also, Brother Dave Houston had a medical procedure done today. Or, and just be praying for him so that he can get well quickly. Hermanos, el hermano Dave tuvo un procedimiento médico. Si oran por él, hermanos, para que él se recupere rápidamente. Y luego también G2, hermanos, tuvo uh, un, 
uh, le sacaron las muelas del juicio por su recuperación, por favor. And then G2 had uh, his molars uh, extracted, his third molars extracted, and just pray for healing there that everything would go well. Again, just prayer requests, uh, and let's just mention them, and that way we can write them down and be praying for them during this week, okay? If you have a prayer request, if you raise your hand, we'll take that. Uh, Ms. Diane? We're going to be traveling Sunday morning. We'll be gone for a week. I mean, two weeks, sorry. We'll be gone for two weeks. Pat's going to be staying with some people that Heather and Joe know while we're gone, and Becca will be on her own, so please pray that my house doesn't burn down. Amen. <laughs> um, but just for safe travels, for Pat to be comfortable where she's at, and for Becca to do well on her own. Amen. So, si estamos orando por uh, la familia Stichter, el hermano y hermanas van a estar viajando por dos semanas. Uh, Stichter, uh, Becca va a estar sola uh, por dos semanas. Uh, oren que no queme la casa. Amen. Miss Becca. Uh, Brother Thomas, yeah. Um, uh, le quiero pedir a uh, oraciones. Uh, yo y la Sara vamos a uh, estar viajando a California um, en sábado y vamos a regresar la próxima semana um, el miércoles. Um, nada más para bendiciones y uh, sabiduría para las, uh, las pr próximas cosas en nuestras vidas. Um, uh, we just ask for prayer. We're going to California Saturday and we'll be back Wednesday and just pray for Uh, travel safety and just for the Lord's wisdom and leading in the next chapters in our life. Amen. Amen. Algo más. Acá enfrente, ok. Hermana Dulce. Buenas noches, hermano. Nomás dos uh, peticiones. Una por uh, Rudy que se fue a West Coast para que esté bien allá, que aproveche las conferencias, que, que esté seguro y que vuelva bien. Um, y otra, ya lo aceptaron en la escuela en Calvary High School, nada más si me pueden ayudar a orar para la transportación, porque tienen dos vans, están llenas y, y pues sí, no, no sé en qué se va a ir, pero si me ayudan a orar, que Dios abra ahí una puerta. Gracias. So we could be praying for Rudy, uh, he's at West Coast and the Youth Conference there, just for safety, and also he starts school. And uh, just so that the traveling situation gets worked out, Um, for that. Hermano Roger. Sí, yo estoy muy agradecido con mi señor porque solo me falta una referencia nada más que la que la contesten y, y esperar el día nomás que me van a llamar a que, que, me, que me vayan a decir ya puede venir a trabajar tal día. Amén. Muy agradecido con mi Señor. El Señor es a su tiempo. Amen. Hay que tener la paciencia. Es lo que es lo que es lo que más tuve yo. Amen. Porque yo ni dije ni sí ni no, sino que paciencia. Amen. Paciencia, paciencia. Y ahí están los resultados. Amén. If we could keep praying for Hermano on the work situation, he just needs one more reference to just finalize the reference. And after that, uh, they'll give him a start day for work. So he just praises the Lord and just pray for that last reference that would come in. Amen. Well, thank you for being here in our midweek service. Gracias por estar aquí en nuestro servicio de media semana. Brother, I'm going to have you and your wife and, and Cooper, if you guys can step out to your table. Hermanos, por favor, saluden a los hermanos. Hermanos, van a estar allí en, uh, allí, hermanos, en su mesa. Hermanos, saluden los hermanos. Y bueno, qué bendición que han estado con nosotros. Gracias por acompañarnos. Estamos despedidos. Thank you for being with us. Say hi to the Fennel family. We are dismissed.